Hi, everybody. I've got a success story here and it's from a lovely woman in India, Arpita. Hi, Agnes. This is Arpita and I have been corresponding with you via email. Well, today is no different, only I have a manifestation story to share with you. Feel free to share it with others too. I know I haven't been in regular contact with you, coaching emails, but the one time I emailed you and I did make note of everything that you had said. It had stuck with me since then and I have seen a lot of changes personally too. Thank you so much for your guidance. There are a lot of people who speak about the law of attraction and I follow them too, but your words have stuck with me. I watch your videos and follow your YouTube channel religiously. So it was only fair that I tell you about my first big manifestation. A couple of months ago, my father purchased a house in Mumbai, India. Currently, we live in a two-bedroom apartment and wanted to move to a bigger space with an elevator. Since I moved overseas, I only knew about the proceedings of the purchase as and when I spoke to my family. One day, my sister, who introduced me to you and the teachings of Neville Goddard, told me that my dad was stuck in a sort of financial dilemma. My dad had a plot of land in Kerala, a state in the southern part of India, that he had to sell in order to raise funds to buy the new house in Mumbai. My dad had made the initial down payment, but now the builder was after him for the second part of the payment, which I believe was a huge amount. Since selling the plot, my father had not received any kind of money from the buyer. He was under tremendous stress. All this time, he refused to divulge any details to me, my sister, or my mum. One day, I received a message from my dad asking me for financial help. I was ready to transfer all that I had saved to help my father in need. We spoke about all sorts of ways to raise funds to help him without him seeking for help outside of the four of us. My parents traveled to Kerala as some legal issues came up with the land that he wanted to sell. My father was stressed and spent many a sleepless night. I was stressed as I wasn't able to understand how to raise a huge amount of money in a very short period of time. I then said to myself, I must try to imagine it. Even though I had my doubts of raising a huge amount in a short period of time, it seemed almost impossible. I sat down on my bed and I closed my eyes and I visualized my father's hand holding a check worth 50,000 rupees. I saw his name on the check and I could vividly see the ridges on his thumbnail while still holding the check. I then heard him talking to my cousin about having the necessary funds to pay off the builder. I visualized him standing next to the bedroom window and even saw the clothes he was wearing. I visualized it two times, all the while tears rolling down my eyes at the thought of my father being relieved from all the stress. I didn't tell anyone about it and I soon forgot about it only to remember a few days ago when I was meditating. In the meantime, my parents were trying to sort money from the person who bought the land from my father as he had promised my father a certain amount of money before he left for Mumbai. My father sent us a message saying the buyer has agreed to pay him 50,000 rupees. When I read the message, my entire image came flashing in front of my eyes and I rang my sister immediately telling her all the details of, of the visualization. This morning, the money was transferred into the account and my dad was able to make the second installment towards the new house. My dad didn't get a check in his hand as I had visualized it but it made me realize that impressing and then dropping is key. After I visualized my father getting the check, I forgot about it and only to remember later, clearly we are powerful manifestors. Thank you, Agnes, for sharing your wisdom with us. Gratitude and appreciation. Namaste, Apita. Woohoo! Love it. Using your imagination on behalf of another especially someone that you know is suffering or caught in a bind. So I love that. Uh, Peter, that's fantastic. Big hug to you and your sister, whom I do know. And um, thank you so much for taking the time to write that and to share. Because really, when you think about it, it's not a huge amount of effort. It's, you know, a couple of imaginal scenes, but with that intense emotion. You saying that you had tears rolling down your face as you were doing it, feeling that thing of 
uh, my dad is relieved of this pressure, I just think is such an important key in your imaginal scene. So that is very special. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And I do have some other YouTubes of people that have situations around properties and different success stories around buying a home or manifesting a home. So I will put those down below for you to enjoy and lots of love everyone. See you, you know where and you know when.